in case you haven't met him yet, Sven. Sven <laughs> is uh, from Copa Australia. He's also secretary of Free Software. Uh, president. President of Free Software oh, Melbourne. <laughs> Excellent. Um, uh, and helps coordinate um, Software Freedom Day on Saturday. I'm going to hand over to Ben and let you, right. let you talk about your thing. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Ben. Okay, so uh, a little bit of acronym uh, explanations code for Australia. Um, we're a small group, uh, small non-profit organisation um, where uh, we embed small groups of people into government departments uh, with the hopes that we expose them to new ways of working, uh, kind of agile ideas. Um, and DTF, Department of Treasury and Finance, that's where I've been stuck. And Open Knowledge, that's you guys. Um, so the survey, uh, I was going to do a before and after survey thing, but I think we'll just do the, the after. Um, so try not to get corrupted by too much by what I say. Um, so a little bit about us. Uh, there's three of us uh, plus a department um, uh, personnel with our team. We got Elma, who's uh, our coding backend specialist. Uh, Ken, who's our designer. Uh, Paul, who's from the department, who's joining us as a domain expert and giving us advice, and I'm pretty sure I've got a job too, but it didn't fit on the slide. Um, so there's a little bit of a blurb about Code for Australia fellows. Um, so our mission was to find Department of Treasury, infiltrate, and find Daniel Andrews' stash. No, uh, to develop uh, some kind of solution around contract reporting. So they had, uh, the stated goal is to increase or improve department's reporting. So uh, Department of Treasury asks, uh, supplies a list of qualified contractors. So these are contractors they've done a bit of research into, um, looked at their finances, looked at their work history and said, look, these guys are okay to do jobs up to a million dollars, or these guys are okay to do jobs between two and five. Um, and the uh, Department of Treasury supply that list uh, for any other department to use. Uh, but if the departments use it, they're meant to report back on how well the contract went, uh, how the contractor performed, um, whether the outcomes were achieved. Uh, the problem is very few people do this, apart from a couple of departments they have special close relationships with. Um, additional issues, uh, yes, the issue. Um, so the issues begin with uh, what we were setting there to do, there is already a trial underway. So uh, the department has already produced a new reporting mechanism and is currently trialling it. Uh, they assured us that this wasn't a huge problem and that we'd be able to go alongside them and, and independently do our own trial. Um, this was how I learned the value of paper prototyping. We put a paper prototype of this system in front of the people who were doing the trial and they had a heart attack, realising that we were going to interfere with their trial. Um, so we have kind of had to abandon that or severely put it on the back burner until their trial's finished. Um, so the other issues are we're a, a six of the way through the project, it's only a six month contract um, and then we're out of there uh, and we've had one interview with a department head who would use this system and do the reporting. So uh, at this rate, we'll get three, by the time we have three user interviews, we're gonna be halfway through the project uh, and we just can't wait for that. Um, and yeah, zero DTF staff actually know where all the contracting data is. Um, I mentioned to a few of you, you earlier, um, certain units within the department have great visibility in certain passes, certain spaces of contracts. Um, so like high value, high risk contracts, there's a lot of visibility, there's a lot of reporting. Um, but as soon as you drop below uh, around the $200,000 mark, um, no one seems to care and no one's got a, a comprehensive idea of, of what's going on. Um, so that's the, the issue we're starting to address. Yeah. So does the department do you have a policy on on reporting? Yes, and then in particular, the there is the rules around the, the pre-qualified list that the department uh, supply. If if another department uses that list, uh, the the requirement 
is that they're to report. Um, the other one is, I think it's over a million dollars. If they're over a million dollars, they must report. Um, um, so then that agency has to yeah. assist that some administered that um, tender, they have to report that as being report fair. Report back on how, how but well But that's not public. Uh, yes, that reporting is not public. Um, uh, that's just for internal mechanisms. Um, and that's also a potential, like, uh, we could encourage departments to report more if we shared this data with them. Because um, at the moment, DTF don't even share that data back with the, the department that reports them very easily. Uh, they do under request, and sometimes it's been requested. So a department uh, had reported to DTF all the contracts that it did, uh, and then at the end of the year said, hey, those contracts, what were they? Because <laughs> they didn't know. Um, so it's left up to the departments. Some departments are really fantastic at it and can just spit out, here's all our contracts. Some departments um, maybe have a manual list and a guy with a stack of papers. Um, and it's the DTF and, and Premier and Cabinet don't want to impose rules on departments, um, which is fun. Uh, um, I'd say encouraging standardisation should be their, their goal rather than forcing it. Um, but there seems to be no appetite for that either. Um, yeah. Is yeah. there such a thing like, you know, on the federal level they have Senate estimates and they've yep. got the power to, you know, compel mm. members of the government to give certain information out. Is there yep. such a thing in, on the state level? I'm not, aware uh, not that we're aware of, yeah. Certainly nothing we've been given access to, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so uh, there probably is, but uh, that probably would be on this, uh, the project level again. Oh. So I sort of covered that with you, but yeah, just yeah, for the yeah. sake of uh, anyone watching at home or something, uh, there's the, uh, the project level and the contract level. So at the project level, uh, we might say we want to increase educational outcomes in such and such a suburb. Um, but at the contract level, we, we'd say something like, we're going to build a school in this, this suburb. Um, and so yeah, a lot of feedback's given on the, the project level, um, but the contract level is left to the department to deal with. So uh, yeah, say it was the education department, they would be left to deal with the contract, but would report frequently about the project. Um, so. Uh, if it was a group of school, if it was one school, that's fine. But if it was, say, five schools that were being built, it kind of destroys any correlation between spending at the project level and and contract performance. Uh, does that clear it up a bit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I guess it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As, as clear as it's going to get up. <laughs> we'll try. Um, so uh, I thought we'd just have a quick look at uh, some of the current sites. So this is Tenders Vic, which is somewhat badly named because it also holds contracts, um, or it's close to a comprehensive list of contracts. Um, but it does have some issues. So uh, there's, as you can see, there's all the departments there, which uh, probably few people really care which department in particular is building something. They're interested in it, but nonetheless, you've got to know uh, which department you think is likely to be building it. Um, so let's take a look at uh, economic development. Um, and then we do get the base uh, contract number, start dates, end dates, and values. Um, but yeah, there is no way to download or view offline or run through your own analytics. Um, we sort of see that as a bit of an issue. Um, that it, it'd be a really 
simple just to add a here's a bulk extract of what you want um, for using in your own analysis. Um, departments do have database experts who and, and analysts who could deal with this kind of data. Um, 